C-sections are no joke. It's a very, very major surgery on top of everything else that you're going through hormonally and emotionally. It's a lot to process. And I, as I said in my labor story video, which I will link to somewhere on the screen now and down in the description below, I had an unexpected C-section. So I really did not prepare. I didn't prepare mentally. I didn't prepare with products. So I really did not know what to do when it came to recovery, which is why I wanted to make this video and share it with you guys. I have to preface with all of this, believe it or not, you guys, you may not know this, but I am not a doctor, nor have I ever played one on TV, nor will I probably ever play one on TV because the words that they use in the dialogue are super big and I feel like I always totally mess up those auditions. Anywho, I am just telling you what my recommendations are based on my personal experience. Here are some of my tips for how best to recover. Number one is rest as much and whenever you can. I know that's a big ask for a brand new mom, but it's important to take advantage of any spare moments that you have to recover. As you know, with any injury, sleep is so important for your recovery. So again, I know it's hard to come by in those first few months, but rest however often you can. I would also really recommend that you stay away from doing any and all physical activity except for walking. Walking is so important. I remember right after my surgery, once I could actually get up out of bed and walk again, my nurses kept stressing how important it was for me to move around. So just taking walks around my recovery room, taking walks around the hospital hallways, and once I got home, starting in and around the house and then moving to actually doing little walks outside. The day that this video is gonna be going live is actually marking my six weeks since my surgery. And I think the six week mark is when they normally say you can start easing back into exercise, but I did a one hour walk about a week ago and my entire body was so sore for a couple of days afterwards. So I'm definitely gonna be easing back into exercise very, very, very slowly. As with any injury or illness or anything like that, it's always really important to eat right and stay hydrated. So I feel like that should go without saying. As far as products are concerned that help me with my recovery that I definitely want to recommend to you guys. I've just kind of collected things from around my house that I've been using and relying on super heavily. So hopefully this helps you because these were all recommendations from my friend Monica from Goo Goo Guru and Angela Lanter who had a C-section herself with McKinley and was so amazing with me when it came to recovery. She was actually one of the first people I texted in the hospital. Angela and Monica were amazing in helping me figure out what products would help me with my C-section recovery. One of the things that Monica actually bought me as a gift, which is very, very sweet, are these um, underwear. They're really high-waisted, super duper high-waisted, and they're quite stretchy, but they're a thicker material. So it just helps you feel like everything is being held in place. And on the inside, what I wanna show you is there's this little patch right where your C-section scar will be. So it just protects your scar, your incision while you're recovering, but helps hold all of your tummy intact because I found the weirdest thing about recovery was I really felt like my organs were just kind of like juggling around in there. I know they weren't, but um, it, it definitely felt odd. I slept on my back for weeks because sleeping on my side just made me feel like things were kind of out of place and it was just a very uncomfortable feeling more than painful. So I definitely would recommend grabbing a pair of these guys. And of course, what would postpartum recovery be without some super sexy mesh underwear? These are the underwear that they give you at the hospital and Angela actually let me know that you can order them online yourself on Amazon. So I stocked up, I stocked up on these because I found that the waistband of most of my underwear that I had at home actually hit right where my scar and incision was and that was really uncomfortable and painful. So the mesh underwear I wore for weeks on end because it was just the most comfy thing to have. Here are a great pair of leggings from Belly Bandit. They're called the Mother Tucker Compression Leggings. These are probably good for anybody postpartum, but again, just to help with that feeling of your organs being displaced and, and just feeling kind of funny and wobbly inside. These compression leggings give you the feeling that everything is being held in place and it's probably also gonna help with our lovely little postpartum pooch that we all have. 
Um, and they're just cute, plain black leggings. So I would definitely recommend grabbing a pair of these from Belly Bandit. These are super important and definitely specific to see section mamas. This is from New Gel Plus. They are silicone gel sheeting for scar management. Basically, it just helps with the scar diminishing the scar over time. You can wear this every day and just clean it with the cleanser that you can buy as well from the same brand. I've been wearing those pretty regularly. Not that anybody could ever even see this scar. The placement was perfect. It was a super clean look, and I know that over time it will diminish naturally anyway. But to help with the healing process, New Gel does those patches, and then it also does the silicone gel for scars. This is just an ointment that you put on to help diminish the appearance of the scar over time, if that's something that you even care about. To be honest, I haven't used too many of those products. The scar, again, is so not visible in anything that I would ever be wearing. And it's also something I'm really proud of. So, you know, I believe in kind of wearing your scar with pride, but if you want to diminish the appearance of it, those are definitely gonna be helpful tools for you. Here is another uh, skin and scar balm for C-section scars and stretch marks. This is from Earth Mama. I've actually used their um, nipple butter, I believe it's called and that's been great for breastfeeding, but this is for your skin and your scars. So stretch marks or C-section scars, this is really great for. And then lastly, I wanna talk about this guy, um, which is from Bellafit. They sent me a few different sizes, so you can start with a larger size and kind of work your way down as your, your pregnancy weight starts to fall off of you. But it, is, it says on the box, used for recovery and treatment of natural birth, C-section with healed incision and diastasis recti, recti, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but basically what that is is when your abs separate, which can happen in pregnancy and during C-sections. So this has made me feel, again, just like everything is being really held into place. It also is just nice to wear it and feel comfortable in your everyday clothing. It helps kind of like keep everything in and, and tucked away where it should be and just helps with the recovery process. I absolutely love these guys. This was another recommendation from Angela Lanter. Thanks, Angela. And uh, it's definitely a great recommendation. So I appreciated that. The most important thing, I think, like I said in my labor and delivery story, if you had a C-section and you weren't intending on having a C-section, it's important to kind of recover your mind as well. You know, not all births go the way we plan them. In fact, I feel like from the response I got on my labor and delivery story, most women's births don't go the way that they plan them and that's okay, but it does take time to process not having your birth go the way you wanted it to. So be easy on yourself, be gentle on your body, be gentle on your mind. Those first few weeks, especially of being a new mom, again, I'm at week six, so I certainly don't have it figured out yet, but I can honestly, say I feel like me and Bowie and Josh are definitely turning a corner and those first few weeks are so trying and so difficult mentally and when you are in physical pain it makes it that much harder to you know process the major learning curve that is in front of you at the moment so be gentle on yourself, be kind, and I hope that you have an amazing support system around you like I did. If you are a fellow C-section mama, kudos to you. Um, we're, we're super strong powerhouses as women, and I hope you are feeling that more than ever on your postpartum journey. I will see you guys in the next video.